How did you guys meet? San Francisco. We both got arrested protesting this Christian coalition event, which is how I knew it was true love. Welcome, Michael Glatz, co-founder of Young Gay Americans. I know a lot of you are balancing religion and sexuality, but what God would punish you for finding love? We've met so many people who've managed to balance their faith and their sexuality. But we've also met so many people whose churches tell them they're going to burn in hell. When my parents died, I blamed God. My whole life, I thought the Bible was full of hate. It's not. Don't see many people flaunting that out in the open. Maybe you'd want to come to my church. I just feel like something shook me and woke me up. And that someone is God? I am Michael. I'm Rebecca. I need to get away from this life. What exactly is it you need to get away from, being gay? I don't know. I want to tell you a little secret about a great gift from God. Fear. I, Michael Glatz, no longer identify as gay. You've written what some would call very hateful things. Michael, you're confused. The truth is that I was living a lie. Are you still attracted to men? It's in the past. What happened to the misinterpretation of the Bible? It's a book, Mike! You can never stop fearing yourself. That's God speaking through you. I follow my own path. You're being controlled by the devil himself. The thing that will really kill you is repressing who you truly are. That's what you should really be afraid of. We're always changing, evolving, and I'm open to that. <laughs>